Hello there, my name is Hamilton, and this is my brand new Onefinity Journeyman CNC machine. Uh, it just came in the mail this week, and I finally had an opportunity to set it up, and I am just so excited about it. I ordered this thing about 15 weeks ago, and it has taken its sweet time in getting here. Um, no, they did not send this to me for free. I have around $3,700 invested into this, and by far it is the most expensive tool that I've ever purchased. I've wanted a CNC machine for about four years now, ever since that I heard that they were hobbyist level and you could jump into the game. The reason that I went for the Onefinity is just because ease of putting it together, honestly, and it does seem a lot more strong. This thing is heavy as heck. It comes in three different boxes and they are all pretty heavy, but I would much rather the tool be heavy than not. Uh, I got the 10 inch screen right here. I'll kind of go into that a little bit uh, it, and the mount and a few things that I'm wanting to change about it as well. But overall, I am ecstatic about the machine. So I'm here trying to plug in these cables and wouldn't you know it, motor zero and motor zero. Guess I'm gonna have to go read some stuff. I've got a line to figure out that it, motor three and Z are the same, which goes into the curly wire. And then motor zero and X are the same, which goes into the center tubing. So if for some reason you're like me and they had mislabeled all this stuff or sent you two of the same cords that are bundled together, that's where they go. All right, so I'm probably I can combine 20 minutes into it. Uh, at this point, I'm like seven out of 10 impressed. Uh, I really like the machine. Uh, it seems very heavily built. Uh, that's all really good stuff. Um, and if you haven't noticed what's happening over here, uh, I'm really hoping that this is just an issue with the monitor rather than the system itself. Um, I'm going to go through, unplug everything, plug everything back in and actually see what happens, but uh, morale is low. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So I had a two USB plugged in there. Um, figured they gave me two. Need to plug in two. Uh, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm not reading directions at all. So, uh, Winfinity, if you're watching this, this is your, uh, this is your, your user right here. Never has seen electricity before in their life. That's working. Guess you shouldn't plug in two USBs into it. Um, it is asking me to home the, sh the machine. That's the first thing that popped up. <laughs> I guess nothing, but it is not responding to my touch. Hi, my name is User Air. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So it seems like there's instructions. Uh, you'll see a lightning bolt on there. That one goes to uh, that one goes to your power adapter that needs to be plugged in, and then the other one goes to the black box that says for touch input. Lastly, the HDMI cord goes into the HDMI controller. I already did that because I already did everything because I'm a child. Okay, so we press OK. Oh, we got movement. Figured something out. Eh? Eh? Well, that worked. Trying to move this nest of cords out of the way. I guess that's it. Home, it says over with an exclamation point. X says okay, Y says okay, Z says over. I shouldn't touch things, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. We're not gonna probe anything. We're gonna go set something up on Carpco and maybe put a bit in and see what happens. No, I need to get a spoil board first.
So, uh, probably fanciest waste board on YouTube. But, I'm just going to countersink a few screws into it. And then, uh, I guess... I guess level it? Um, I don't know what that means or how to do it at all. So, I'll go on the computer and uh, eat some lunch and watch some smarter people than me do that. All right, so I had to run over to CVS to go get a USB stick because uh, I only had three months to get one. And they think very highly of their USB sticks. Then I went in, I created a file on CarveCo Maker Plus, and essentially all I did was just make the area of the machine. So it was 48 by 32, and then I just drew a rectangle in that and told it to take off 0.03125. I don't know, some guy on a forum did that. And I set my feed at 300 inch per minute. Somebody on a forum did that. And I'm gonna set my dial to four here on the router because that's what somebody online said to do. There's probably people out there who know a whole lot more about this than I do, and they are just screaming right now saying, oh, don't do that, you're gonna break something. When I first got my planer, it is a 25 inch Woodmaster planer. Uh, that thing scared the crap out of me. And it was loud and scary, and I thought I was gonna get sucked into it and die. That was years ago. And now it's my favorite tool. Uh, I remember my dad looked at me and he was like, oh, the bearings are shot, uh, my sweet summer child. Please just replace those and it'll be fine. And now it's awesome but I didn't really know how to work it until I just kind of jumped in. So, same thing with this. Hoping that this will turn out to be something incredible that I'm really happy with and I understand how to use. But if anything, if you're watching this video and you think this guy is an idiot, just know that in a few months, I'll be able to actually make stuff and you can go back and look at that and be like, oh wow, if he can do it, I can do it. Simple as that. So one more time, I'm gonna home machine just because why not? I have got the probe from Winfinity, which should just work, I guess. I don't really know. We'll see. Oh, that'll hook up to the actual probe. Yet another wire to throw into the nest of wires. It's got two sides, or um, two imports. I'm not really sure which one I'm supposed to be doing. So, does that just fit in there? Yep, it does. Okay, so just shove that in there. I'm gonna have this upside down because I am just planning on probing the Z where it's at. Um, we'll see if that works out. I've seen people do that online, so hopefully that'll work. Now we are going to take the Z down. Oh no, this is gonna take forever. So I've got a remote control, one of those Xbox controllers or whatever. And it is currently on an Amazon van right now headed to the house. So at any moment it could show up and I now understand why people rave about this. I'm sure that this goes faster somehow, but I don't know how to do it. Cool, so when I touch the plate up to the bit, it pops up probe Z, which means I probably need to drop it down a little bit more I don't know, that's like pretty, that is touching it. Um, let's go up a little bit. And then we're just gonna probe Z. Attach the magnet to the collet, touch the probe block to the bit. Continue. Now it is going to probe. Sorry I'm not showing y'all because I don't wanna move the camera. Probing complete. Don't forget to put away the probe. I will try not to forget that. God, this uh, this mount does not spark joy. Let's go into files, into expensive USB, and there is no file. I have no clue why it is not putting that file on that USB. This is the second time that I've tried to do this, and I do not understand. So I finally got my file converter, uh, which, you know, <laughs> first time, learned a lot. And I'm gonna reprobe this. So I am popping it up. It says press continue. And there it goes, doing its thing. 
touch twice. Very cool. Don't forget to put away the probe. Helpful for people like me. So this is set to four. I've got this plugged in somewhere. Gosh, these freaking wires. If anybody knows how to turn the actual monitor itself upside down so these wires can be on the opposite side, um, that would be super helpful because I'm totally going to tear those up. I guess turn the router on. Yeah, I turned that on super prematurely. Oh, there's a big ass play button. I think I will press that button. I'm going to turn this on and then I am going to press play and see what happens. assume that the bit has dropped if anybody else knows anything please let me know uh, because that's the only thing that's coming to mind so yeah uh, I think we are going to I don't know if I can reload the file by probing off of that to re hmm I don't know first I'm gonna check the bit then we're gonna see what's going on I got to use the emergency stop which was pretty fun I've never used that on any of my other equipment um, and now we are just going to check and see if the bit itself is loose or has dropped at all. It was a little bit loose. Um, not exactly sure if that was the problem or not. No, I can't just restart that program or in the middle. I'm sure I can. I just have no idea how to. I'll move this because I know some people are frustrated by it whatever okay so the things that I immediately would want to know were taken care of or I guess assumed that things would have been better uh, with this machine is this the entire machine is built like a tank and then it's like this 3d printed little mount which I get it you don't have to use it but it came with it and that's what's expected of it I don't know uh, and then the power cord, this, that I, that's dumb. I got this and now I need to do other things in order to make it work better. Uh, that's a little bit annoying to me, but honestly, grand scheme of things, who cares? Um, yes, it is a $3,700 machine or at least the setup that I have, but at the end of the day, it's going to be okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my main experience with it so far. Um, Earlier I said 7 out of 10 excited uh, because I was in an emotional distress over user error. But honestly, I'm 10 out of 10. This thing has been great. I've had a smile on my face all day besides the bad parts. Um, and then I, I don't know if I would be this pumped with one of the other systems that are out there in this hobbyist type of level. Uh, especially having to put it together as long as those require. Um, I'm sure that the new ones that are coming out that have less to be able to assemble are great. I'm not crapping on those machines whatsoever. This is the only one that I've had experience on and honestly run time is less than like 20 minutes at this point. So as I do more stuff, I'll release more videos. Please understand that I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of awesome YouTube places out there for great content that are really going to answer your question immediately. I'll answer the questions as they happen and as I understand what I need to do differently. So yeah, other than that, if you want to subscribe and uh, watch an idiot try and figure out how to run a robot, uh, then please do because that is what I'm going to be doing as well as some of my normal stuff, uh, working on furniture, and then definitely still have a version 2 in store for the router planer, which I will link somewhere up here. Um, because that is something that I've wanted to do for quite some time and will still be doing, which the CNC will not be replacing that. 
uh, just purely because of the amount of space that the CNC bed has versus the router planer um, that I have been working on. It is way bigger and it'll be way easier. It's sometimes things that are manual are just easier. Uh, this I'm really hoping just to be able to batch out product on and hopefully get to a place where, I don't know, maybe it'll just be one of those things where I load material in, press a button and walk away. Uh, right now, we're not there, but eventually, we should be. Follow along and see. Literally, I shut down the shop and this comes in the mail. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>